<laughs> yeah, I'm really lucky. I've got a group of friends that I met in high school and more water that have just kind of we've all stuck with each other since the since the like beginning, so not like we grew up together or anything, but we're all we're all pretty good friends regardless of that. Oh no, don't worry about it. I swear all the time. I try not to as much on stream cuz like I feel like I Shouldn't swear, but I do anyway, so... Whatever. Uh, he needs a totem and two cabins. Wow. What a fancy dude. Weird that he doesn't have anything he asks for for his house. That is a little bit odd. Alright. What you got? He's got a pipe, or she's got a pipe. You want to take out the moon ship from the temple? Whose permission do you have to do such a thing? The moon people. Temple's a sacred place. Noble king named Balilumba Halulumba rests there. Can't give a signet to just anybody. You best come back some other time. Chief. Oh, that's the wrong voice for this guy. Oh, is that you, Anaga? Chief, Tone is someone we can trust. He saved Mikara and others. Tone can defeat the Dark Genie. Yeah, I can do it. Oh, is that so? Well, since it's coming from Anaga, I have no doubt. Well, where shall I start? First, now to conquer the Sun and Moon Temple. Listen carefully. To reach the last room where the moon ship is stored, you must enter through the king's room. To enter the king's room, you need Zed signets. Oh, two signets. All right, well, have a good one, Al. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, have a great rest of your evening, or afternoon, or nighttime, whatever it is. One is the sun signet, handed down by the chiefs of Muskalaka. The other is the moon signet. The moon people who maintain the shrine are supposed to have it, but that's not the case anymore. The lazy moon people entrusted us with the moon signet so they can relax in the woods. Meaning that the Z2 signets are both here in Muskalaka. Unfortunately, they aren't here. Zabo and Enga each have one. Tell them about you so you get the signets from them. Anyway, good luck to ya. Wait, wait a minute. Boy in a green hat. Say, those eyes of yours. You have beautiful eyes. I knew another man with those same sparkling eyes. When I was young, he was the only man who could beat me. He was handsome, but that was more than 20 years ago. Young man, be strong, like he was. Okay. Any requests? Dino Slayer. Premium chicken. Alright. I'm gonna dip out of this house and go talk to more people all around the um, area. Right, Zabo's house. Okay, config and assembly. Zabo's house. Here's Zabo. You need your. Uh, you need this. Anga, that's gonna be you. You need uh, this and some stairs. Toto's house. Oh, I have more people down here. Perfect. Toto and Gosuke, as well as a odds and ends. And. The prisoner cabin. That's, uh, Gron. Okay, let's go talk to everyone and see what they need for their houses. Hey, Gron. What's up, chief? Any requests? 
I want to see the sunrise. What do you need for your home? What? Are you blind? Prisoner, not interior decorator. You stupid or what? Okay, put a sign in front, like, the mighty Gron, or Gronus Maximus. Yeah, that'll do just fine. What a dork. I love him. Use your sign, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Mighty Gron. So it's that hero guy restoring the village. Don't waste your time. The world's already doomed. Hey, it's Gron, a scorpion warrior. One of the sand warrior's mortal enemies. He was taken hostage a year ago. He's a dangerous one. Don't get too close. Hey, that's you, uh, Gaga. Well, if I ever get out of this cage, you'll be dead. Here you're on the downside these days, you coward. <gasps> what? Uh, look, 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 I was, I was, I was kidding. I'm, I'm just a little baby. It's my gnome. It's my birthday boy. I was just chilling with you. I was joking you. I'm joshing you. <laughs> All right. Hey, give me water. Any requests? Sunrise. Okay. What else we got? And Gaga's house. Boom. Let's go say hello. And Gaga, huh? Who are you? Anti curse amulet. Gourd. Wind gem. Mage slayer. Slayer. Double kill. Triple kill. Quadra kill. Rampage. You're an outsider, huh? My name is Enga. I'm just an old man, though. Let me see. I can only think of keeping the tradition of the Pole Guardian. Don't go to the trendy... Don't forget the trendy hay roof. If you forget, my place will look like a piece of gourd. Of course, the totem. Alright. Gotcha, fam. Trendy roof. A slot. I don't know what that's gonna be for, but I can't figure. I can't finish you off. Sorry, buddy. Toto, what do you got for me? I miss the rain down in Africa. Fruit of Eden. Stone breaker. Oh, gourd. Huh? He must be outside. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. Oh, hey, little child. Ah, the sun. Whoa, who are you, bro? You just moved this village, huh? Right on! I'm Toto! Nice to meet you. Hmm, I don't care. Just be careful how you place the totem pole. You know how. I just need to have the totem pole. You know what I'm talking about, right? Ha <laughs> ha! See you later, punk. Hey, more realistic. Hello. Okay. Any uh, requests? Go skip down. No. What do you need for your home? Needs a knob. Toto's house. Sounds good, chief. This is the handle. And here's the little totem. <laughs> this totally isn't radical, dude. Something's wrong with Ghostke. Bro, help me out. He doesn't move that much anymore. Toto. Ah, Ghostke, you scared me. Come on, you gotta get up, man. Toto, it is time to say goodbye. Ghostke's mission shall now begin. What? What are you saying, man? What do you mean, goodbye? I've always told each other we'd be friends forever. Friends forever, right? Friend. Gosuke is Toto's friend. 
and goes, yeah, we're friends forever. Gosuke is Toto's friend, but Gosuke is not human. Inside, Gosuke is a magical treasure. It's the power that keeps me moving. Gosuke's task is to protect the treasure. Last task is to pass on the treasure. What? But we're each other's only friend! I can't let you go, man. No, I won't let you go. Gosuke had a friend long ago. Another friend. He created Gosuke. Gosuke promised him, promised to protect this treasure until the time when a special person arrives to get it. Gosuke keeps his promises. No, don't do that. You're like, all I've got, Gosuke. You're the only friend I have. No. Gosuke, Toto's friend. Gosuke, in the next life, I will be human. Then I will stay as Toto's friend forever. Gosuke promises. Gosuke keeps promises. Toto, friend. Gosuke keeps promises. Toto, always friend. Oh, wow. Magic sword and a rock. I was powering the golem all along. The sun sword has been acquired. Gosuke. Here, you're gonna beat that then with Gosuke's treasure, right? You have to beat it. You've got to beat it. Like, radical, dude. Oh, I'm out of slots. Uh, sorry, Gladius, but you are no longer needed. Wow. Well, how good is that sun sword, anyway? It's uh, pretty, pretty damn strong, actually, looking at that. What is it? What is it? What does it got for other stats, though? Wow, a crap load of fire and lightning, and some decent anti-stats. This thing might be a good one to level up next to slot into this lamb sword, actually. Because the lamb sword needs fire, a lot of fire, lightning, wind, and some of those monster stats, too, so. The sun sword would be a pretty good one to add in as a weapon. Okay. Who else we gotta put down? Base and topper. And uh, what else do I got? Anything else to put down? Nope. Oh, I gotta go talk to Zabo. Where where are you, Zabo? Zabo's hut's this weird one. Some stuff up there. Okay. Crimson chicken, mimic breaker, power up powder, holy. Let's go find Zabo and beat the crap out of him for that rock. Oh, here you are. Hey, you. You're a newbie, huh? I don't recommend you become a warrior, huh? You don't agree? <laughs> well, anyways, I'm Zappo. Good to meet you. This village is a village of warriors. We're at war with another tribe that lives across the desert. For your own sake, you shouldn't stay in this village for long, you not warrior. <laughs> Any request? No, but at least honor the pole guardian. When you face poles to each other, make sure they're lined up correctly. What do you need for your home? I want to have a shade made of a hay on top of the entrance. It's the same hay used for the roof of other houses. I need a totem too, you idiot. Alright, I don't 
don't have a I don't have a house or a roof for him yet. So we are going to go to uh, Brooke's house. Get it, Brooke? Like, like broker? Huh? Almost? Not quite? No? Okay. Okay. Let's sell some crap. What do I not need? Bomb, rock, cherry, gem, ice, rock, stand-in powder, ice, rock, ice. Uh, da -da -da -da. Bombs, get out. Oh, hey, there's a uh, pouch. Oh, but I can't carry any more attachments still. Ah. Our HP by 10. You need more water. And Ruby needs more water as well. Uh, I'm going to see if any of these people around here have um, storage. Like, I'm thinking maybe maybe this guy, a big pot, maybe can store items in it or something, or I don't know, I'll talk to him. Hmm. Okay, well, not pot guy. Um... Maybe the chief stores items. defense already. Wow. More stone breaker. Let's do some running around the town to grab all the loose items. Bag is full, can't carry more. Fish candy.
There's a Basker's door. Checking some items. Uh, store these stamina drinks. I don't really need them to walking around for normal stuff. Check in some rocks, but I can't. My entire thing's full. Okay. Well, I guess I can just sell some of these, I, I guess. Don't really need all these. Un okay, I can sell all my undead and my plants and my fish, I guess. Wait, no, I can just stick them into random items. Okay. Undead. Fuck it. Antique sword. You can have some beast killer. Sun and moon sword. Take all my mage. Anti mage stuff. Take some. Let me take that thunder and a couple of the winds out of his. Uh, this guy's stash, though. There we go. That should be good enough. Make an extra fire as well. Guess we've got some variety. Okay. Now I can teleport back to Muscalaka or Muscaraka. I will admit, I'm not really too sure which one it wants to be. This is called Muscalaka, but I teleport to it, and I get this, like, a... Uh, on screen it says Muscaraka. So I, I admit I don't, I'm not too sure which one it's supposed to be. Another Beast Buster, huh? Undead Buster. What do we got over here? Stonebreaker. Tasty water. Tasty water. Bomb nuts. Stone breaker. Grass cake. Now that's a uh, Goro's defense item. Freeze amulet and metal breaker. The chief's house has a fluffy donut and a fruit of Eden. Ooh, how wonderful! Oh, and the time skip cutscene. And a fire. Okay, well, let's eat the donut. Ruby can have the... Oh, she's maxed out. Okay, never mind. Any more random red boxes I can sp spot? I don't see any more. So, let's save the game really quick. And then I'm going to... Quickly go back to Brooke's house and buy myself some extra repair powder. And I don't know what else I'm going to need. Maybe some water in case there's... Yeah. Let's 
That's probably good enough. Save again. Uh, no, we're going to go to the dungeon. This is where uh, we can fight some dragons, apparently. Floor 17. I'm going to do a, a quick wipe of everything in the, in the floor. Grab all the map, the gem, and all the stuff. I'm going to come back in here and make sure I can do a secret zone with dragons in it. Sounds pretty fun. It'll be a good way to upgrade some of my weapons. Oh, hey, I gotta play as a cat girl for a second to do a sick front flip. I'll go back to Ruby and blast some uh, enemies. Okay, so we crack open our balls and find some more totem pole stuff. Got a level up powder, that's useful. Another secret path key, okay. I've got a lot of grinding supplies if I want to keep doing that, so that'll be useful. wish they named them all in accordance to like random uh, like alliteration like metal muncher beast breaker stone striker stuff like that right I think that'd be cool more thunder not full from this weapon? Okay. found the
go. There we go, I can upgrade this. Alright. 15 thunder is probably enough. No, it's not. I need a little bit more thunder still. But for now, I can just double with wind. Actually, while I'm using it, I'm going to be fighting blue dragons. I'm going to double up with fire, actually. It's probably the best bet. Unless Amethyst gives me a significant amount of... Yeah, it gives me dino busting. Might actually be more efficient than fire element. I don't know, we'll have to see. There we go. Talk him down. Easy as pie. Back we go to run to the other side of the dungeon where all the enemies are and where the secret zone is. Doing pretty good damage. I just gotta really not get hit on this next, uh, this next one. I'm gonna repair this just in case I need to, in case I need to switch to him, I don't have to worry about it later. Lots of repair powder anyway. The reason why I'm not doing charge attacks to kill these guys as fast as possible is because they drop repair powder out of the stealth or the steel attack, which is a percentage to activate on each hit. So I'm trying to hit them as many times as possible before I have to go into the room that's not going to have any enemies that do that. Alright. Didn't work as hoped. A mighty healing. Hey, there we go. These mimics also, uh... If, oh, if they're Mimics, they also have a chance of dropping Repair Powder when I hit them, so... I guess they're just... I guess they just weren't Mimics, though. Huh. Oh, big chest. What you got for me, Chief? Oh, you're a Mimic. You give Standing Powder, though, so I'm gonna... Bam. Slam Jam. Thank you, ma'am. Come on, everybody. What Jam? Into the basement we go. Climb into the coffin. So the reason why um, me and Anail were talking so much about grinding here is because when you leave the back floor, all the monsters on the main floor respawn. And when you go back to the back floor, all the monsters on the back floor also respawn. So all the, the monsters will essentially endlessly spawn. Oh, and what do you know? There's two different pools in this area. That is... Phenomenal luck. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, okay. You know what? At least learning that they don't instantly kill me is a huge boon to my sanity.
I will step on this. Oh, I don't regret it. Magic power up. What else do we got? Metal breaker. And ooh, a pair of law. What do you do? What do you do? Give a bunch of holy. Uh, you give animal and beast slaying, and you give attack. Useful. Let's see how many how many abs am I getting from one of these guys going down? 203. Two oh three becomes two twenty-seven. So that's uh what? Twenty-four points? Which I think was exactly how much as I was gonna get earlier. There we go. Proof of my double theory, so they were 12 outside. Also, 24 points is a lot, considering some weapons don't require 200 points to level up. So. Okay. I'm going to customize this really quick. I think the plan was to actually put two Thunder Gems in this thing. If I have any of those. No, it's wind gems. This is what I was going to slam into this. Let's see if that's enough. Upgrade. Yes. Is that enough wind? It is enough wind. Now I need a little bit of thunder and holy. in here. While well, I'm fighting at least. But uh how about it? What else do we gotta upgrade? You have a hammer you need to upgrade, which we can That's pretty good. Alright, what else do we got? What do you got in your thing? Your sword is, yeah, so I'll, I'll need to upgrade the chopper, so. The technique for that is pretty simple. You fight the enemy with uh, a character. You bring him down to really low HP. Like this. Then you switch back to the character you want to give the points to. finish it off. Then it gets a crap load of points. At least that's the intended way to happen, I think. Right? We're gonna go over here and see if this is by chance one of the int level up ones. Nope, it just increases its max HP, which is fine. doing that after I killed it. Okay. 
Yeah, how many, how many levels will I need for this thing to go up one more level? A lot. So I'm thinking if I do level this thing up, I'm going to use powder. Because... Uh... That's just a lot. I need to kill ten dragons for one weapon level. Versus, like, the four I'm needing for one of Tone's weapons. Switch back to this lady. To I'm gonna kill the enemies in this room because there's two golems in here, so there's a chance I get repair powder back from Efficiency at its peak. So now I can go in and repair my weapon for functionally a net positive of one repair powder. And we continue on. Back into the coffin and back to where the dragons are. So now it's plus four weapon. Requires 108, so four dragons should do it. And then I can make it into a weapon sphere, and then I can uh Um, sorry, once it's a weapon sphere, I can put it in other things to give thunder. So I'm probably gonna put it in this ring to get a thunder element.
Oh, he died without it. Okay, whatever. I'm going to have to do another one then. Didn't think I'd kill it so fast, actually. was a close one. Takes a ton of damage from these guys. What if I just slap, like, I don't know. Is an endurance gem in there, I guess? I don't know. thing need to be built up? Attack, magic, fire, ice, wind. What does this thing have? Fire, thunder. What does this thing give it? Ice, I don't need that. Not a lot of stats go up from this, to be honest. Yeah, I'll use I'll use the uh, chopper and something that needs thunder. What needs thunder for this thing to be built up? It does not need thunder, or it does need thunder. Wait, hold it. Need thunder and holy. That'll probably do it, right? I need. I need more thunder and more holy. And then I'm dead in that. Wow, what the hell? Okay, let's. It's not worth it to just keep putting parts into it. I gotta put a. Here, can I find something that is thunder and holy? Maybe. This? Holy, no. Ice, no. This thing's all elements a little bit. I know that, so maybe one of these will be worthwhile. Mm. 
You know what? I'll upgrade another crystal ring to max stats. This one's gonna die and is gonna go into um, Sword Boy's new uh, Lamb Blade. That should do real good. It needs all the elements. What does it got right now? All the elements. Okay. Should be able to just uh, kill enemies with the sword itself to um, upgrade it now. So I've maxed out, uh, I've maxed out the, uh, the weapon a bit for Ruby's ring and for, um, the chopper and put them all together. So I've got the lamb sword up pretty big and I've got the ring sitting in it for its elemental abilities. I just need to have attack and magic, which is covered by the ring being in it. And then all the elements, which I think is also probably covered by the ring being in it. Maybe with more fire? I don't know. Maybe I'll level up the, um, lamb, or the sun sword to put into something else. Seems like a reasonable cut down the middle. Because this thing has really good, um, fire element. So I can use it for now. While hunting dragons. Oh, I don't want to be using lamb, uh, the sword right now. I wanna... Yeah, go for it. Oh, wow. Damage taken. through durability like a this thing eats through durability let's just put it that way can I stick some more endurance in there auto repair powder keeps the transformation okay so I want to let it break and then it'll stay like that forever or it won't Uh, here. We're going to go back to, um, you. Um, we're going to 
customize this crystal ring with that original crystal ring. You know, maxes out its stats, but, uh... There we go. I wonder if that'll do more damage when playing as her than using the fire element. Yeah. Oh, I gotta equip it. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll help, wouldn't it? No, it's still doing way less damage. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's back to a bit beastier. Not that I needed to upgrade that like that, but hey, whatever. Okay, so. Back to the original plan of using Ruby to fight the dragons and get them low. Yeah. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know if 40 holy was better against a dragon than, like, 6 fire would be, right? Because, like, this thing's elemental stat is really, really high for holy, and I didn't know if that was going to be more damage than 10 fire was going to be. Yeah, I did. It is double. It's exactly double. So these guys are giving me 24 per. Oh, I forgot to go back to town. It's fine. I'll level up something. I don't know. Should we also upgrade Goro's hammer? Cause it's got a, it's got ten of every element, so using that as an item is like essentially putting in two gems of everything. So hey, that's an option if it's something that needs lots of elemental power. Because those last judgments are pretty decent. take out the uber ring and we'll just let this upgrade with just some fire in it doesn't help me at all but I guess we can put some anti-dragon on there for now I guess you, does this have anti-dragon? I, I thought it did. There we go. A little bit of a boost. More fire element. Ow! Let's just eat one of the
of those just for safety's sake. There we go. And back to Tone. Finish it off. A little bit less than a quarter of a level for one enemy. Okay, but I've got lots of time to grind off stream, and I've got lots of items. This is just simply like a proof of concept little bit, but uh kind of disappointed I didn't quite get to the moon this stream, but that's fine. I am probably going to retire for the afternoon. I got to get I got to go eat some breakfast. Yeah, I know it's 4 p.m., but I got to eat breakfast still. Um and then I got to get in time for hanging out with my boys. So I'm going to come back here off stream at some point and maybe do some more grinding if I've got free time. Otherwise, I'll just next stream will just be moving ahead without much more grinding. I think I'm at a pretty good spot if I don't want to grind anyway. So yeah, thanks for thanks for coming in. It's nice to meet you, um, Anael. It's uh, hope to see you again next time I stream the Stream Dark Cloud or any other game if you feel like stopping by. Gord. Stonebreaker. Fruit of Eden. So, we're gonna save our game and we're gonna, uh, call it for today, it sounds like. Okay, well. Oh. Thank you again to anyone who decided to stop by or follow. Okay. Follow a lot of people. Yeah, no, sure, of course. Well, have a good rest of your evening. Oh.